Take a live look from our Southwest Motors camera down in Pueblo. You can still see that we've got that stratus deck hanging pretty tough right now. 52 degrees. Winds coming out of the south at 3 miles an hour. Relative humidity there at 86%. 46 Canyon City, 36 in Leadville. We've got the mid-40s around the Denver metro. Then you've got 40s and 50s out across the plains this morning. We'll be a little warmer today than yesterday when we only saw the low in the mid-50s. 65 this afternoon in Colorado Springs, 73 Pueblo. We'll get 60s and 70s and even up to 75 in La Junta this afternoon. Also quite a bit of sunshine around Gunnison and Alamosa low in mid 70s there. Here's our future cast. You see the cloud cover this morning. That does begin to break apart and thin out a little bit as we go into the afternoon and evening. Now, by 2 p.m., you'll notice that over the higher terrain out to the west of Colorado Springs and between Walsenburg and Trinidad, start to see some of those showers and thunderstorms fire. It certainly looks like the more active weather today will be Penrose and Pueblo south to Walsenburg over the higher terrain and then kind of rolling east out across the plains. But isolated shower and thunderstorms coming off of Teller County and into Colorado Springs, then out towards Elbert and Lincoln County. That's certainly a possibility. So high pressure builds in today, and we've got a westerly to southwesterly flow. But from time to time, you'll get little waves of energy rolling through that flow, and that will kick off showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow, uh, we are going to see a chance for some severe weather. It's mainly out to the east of Colorado Springs, but that threat will be there. And then heading into the weekend, again, kind of high pressure in control. We'll see small chances for some isolated afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity. But severe storms in the darker green there, and I Again, I think the focus is mainly going to be Pueblo east towards La Junta Lamar and then especially across eastern Los Animas County and over into Baca County. So we'll start at the lunch hour on Friday afternoon. A good deal of sunshine early on, showers and thunderstorms developing as we go into the afternoon and evening. There you can see a batch over towards Elbert County, then Pueblo down to the south into Los Animas County and then stretching over towards Springfield. Now any of these as we head later into the afternoon, the evening hours, these could become quite strong and possibly severe. The greatest threat with the severe weather for tomorrow afternoon will be hail and strong damaging winds. Tornado threat uh, with this system is very low. As we go deeper into your Friday night, most of those push out to the east will get partial clearing. Now tonight, we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight. Morning starts in the upper 40s and low 50s. Tomorrow afternoon, everybody warming up a little bit. We're back into the upper 70s in Colorado Springs, low 80s Canyon City, 78 in Alamosa tomorrow afternoon, and up to 84 degrees in La Junta. So your seven-day forecast for Woodland Park. Tomorrow, certainly the most active day with highs in the upper 60s, low 70s into the weekend, and then we'll see another batch of wet and unsettled weather through Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Canyon City, you're up to 80 degrees Friday afternoon with showers and thunderstorms, a good possibility. Low to mid 80s for Saturday and Sunday, and then next week, cooler, showery, and thunderstorms back in our forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday. Pueblo area up to 82 on a Friday afternoon with kind of numerous showers and thunderstorms forming and rolling out to the east across the area. Mid 80s looks nice for the weekend and relatively quiet, although we will see an isolated shower and thunderstorm threat over the higher terrain. Some of those may make their way out across the I-25 corridor, but certainly for Colorado Springs, the most active day over the next three is going to be Friday afternoon and evening. Upper 70s to the low 80s Saturday and Sunday, and then we again we get into that more uh, wet weather pattern afternoon showers and thunderstorms and some plain old rain showers as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday next week and those temperatures also coming down a few degrees back into the 70s guys